World of Wonder has quite a few buttons. In this video, we'll walk you through them all. First, the Backpack button. Tap it to enter the component page. Use the list of categories on the right or input text at the top to search for what you want. We can choose our most used objects to add to the quick bar. You have access to three quick bars. Just tap the number to switch between them. When you're done, they'll be displayed at the bottom of the UI. Now, you won't have to open the menu every time to quickly find and use these items. While creating, we can use the Resource Management button to quickly perform operations on already placed objects. For example, a one-tap delete or a one-tap jump to the object's location. We can also restore deleted objects. These buttons allow you to efficiently place objects and make adjustments, making creation even faster by streamlining the whole process for players. Now, let's go back to the UI buttons. If you want to master gameplay creation, getting comfortable with these next few buttons is essential. They are Select, Modify, Decorate, Adjust and Place. During basic creation, we can select any item and then we can perform some adjustments and decoration. Adjustment buttons are on the left and control the selected object's distance, direction and size. The Material button is in the bottom right and is used to change an object's material. Once you're done, tap the Place button to put it down. After placing an object, there's more that we can do with it, including Copy, Delete and Modify. Gameplay devices are a little special. After placing one, the Parameters button will appear. Using the Item Issuance device as an example, the Parameters button makes it easy for players to control the types of items issued, when they are issued, and more. Mastering these placement operations allows for complete control over various aspects of all objects, giving players the power to create freely and with precision. Next, let's look at some buttons that can increase our efficiency. In the bottom left corner of the screen are the Screenshot and Object Placement and Parameter buttons. The Object Placement and Parameter Editor controls various parts of the object placement process. For example, we can set the maximum and minimum size of objects, adjust the number of degrees that a structure will rotate in a single instance, modify the flying speed in free editing mode, and more. This makes it easier for players to control the precise details of their creations. The Screenshot button on the left allows us to take a screenshot of the current view and enter the image editor. While saving an image, we can also choose to set it as the cover for our creation. An exciting cover image will naturally draw more players to your creation. To the right, we have the Fly button. It lets you freely fly around and pass through objects. Last but not least, we'll touch on some buttons that have to do with the creation's overall settings. They're in the upper right corner. The leftmost button on the top row is the Playtest button. After tapping it, we'll be able to see for ourselves what it's like when others play our creation. This gives us a clearer picture of how our creation performs. To the right is the Save button. The Save button quickly saves the creation to your device, but keep in mind that it has a cooldown period. After you save, you can't save again for 60 seconds. Saving appropriately makes it easier for players to find and use your creation. To the far right is the Game Settings button. Just like in Classic mode, players can change settings for controls, graphics, button placement, sensitivity and more. The leftmost button on the second row is the Exit button. Always remember to save your creation before exiting. In the middle is the Battle UI button. Tapping it sends the player into Battle mode and changes the UI. While in Battle mode, buttons for creation, adjusting objects and editing the battleground will be temporarily replaced with Battle buttons such as Fire, Drive, etc. Tapping the button again will return the player to Creation mode. To the far right is the Parameters button. This button allows us to change the player limit, the availability of items and the gameplay interface. These adjustments put players in complete control of every aspect of their creation's gameplay. That's a wrap for buttons in World of Wonder. There are more wonders waiting for you to explore.